The lander called Philae touched down yesterday after a 10-year, 4-billion-mile mission, and we now know that at least it's still there. But this is it. The image that scientists have been waiting for for more than a decade. The first picture taken from the surface of a comet. You can see one of the lander's legs right here in the foreground. It's an incredible achievement. Let's just remind you why. Well, the vast distance was too far to be reached by a rocket, so the Rosetta spaceship slingshotted its way around the solar system to reach its destination. And once there, the Rosetta craft drew up next to the comet, matching an orbit which takes the comet around the sun every six and a half years. The comet is going at 30,000 miles an hour, but the landing itself happened at walking speed. It didn't go entirely according to plan, though. The lander was meant to harpoon itself to the surface, but those harpoons didn't fire and the craft bounced off the surface before setting again, bouncing off once more and re-establishing contact. That first bounce lasted two hours, was a kilometre in altitude and a kilometre off course. There are now concerns that if the craft starts drilling for samples, that movement could nudge it off the surface again. It's decision time for the European Space Agency, who are planning to use correction manoeuvres early tomorrow morning to try and secure Philae to the comet. This is the view from the Rosetta mothership as it sends the lander on its way, slowly spiralling down to the comet below. The surface of the comet, covered in loose dust and debris, the rock in the top right is five metres in size. The crosshairs here mark the landing spot. This is where the Philae lander touched down before bouncing up again and travelling a kilometre away. So this is the big crater on the head of the, of the comet. This is the nominal uh, landing site and we hit this quite accurately within less than a hundred meter from the really predicted point. This is known and then we did this huge jump, something like this, and the concept data uh, imply that, and it's a bit depending on what dielectric properties uh, you assume, somewhere in this area. Once it came to a stop, Philite started taking pictures. They show an austere, craggy landscape, and perhaps a cliff towering over the lander. Stitch those images together and you get this panorama. It's possible to plot Philae's position within that landscape and it shows just how awkward the landing eventually was. Only two legs are on the ground and the third is pointing straight out to space. Scientists now have a dilemma. Stick or twist? Should they try to move the Philae into a more stable spot at the risk of nudging the lander off the comet entirely or be content with what is a remarkably safe landing?